Next on stage is Tran. Tran, are you here? There you are. All right. Big clap to Tran, local boy. Thank you. Good afternoon, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, just. So, uh, my name is Kim. I'm from Vietnam. So, one welcome to Vietnam Hanoi Innovation Summit. So, allow me to share with you a story today, a number. So, uh, do you know, every day, there are about seven people die because of road accident. According to a statistic of World Health Organization last year, Vietnam is the second country in ASEAN with the highest diving protocol project, road transportation. And one major problem, we usually blame to the truck driver. But is that true? Is that the main problem? Have you any, any uh, of you in the cabinet of truck before? Can you raise your hands? Okay, well, thank you. Not so much people have room. So let me tell you a story. The truck driver had a very, very difficult life. You can imagine, very difficult. He be chasing, he be, he had to, you know, he live in the cabinet. He eat, he pee, he walk around, he wash. Everything is out of the truck, especially in the busy season. He live in the truck. Three weeks, continuously three weeks within one truck. And Dr. Dr. Roland, not because of his boss. His boss doesn't uh, better. She faced with many uh, hundreds or no, 10 to 100 truck drivers, 10 to 100 trucks. She had to manage cash flow, she had to manage uh, many problems along the way, manually causing a lot of trouble. So, uh, according to a report from uh, Ian White, 2016, if we do nothing like the current, the current way we have managed the truck, 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 uh, the truck as current, the cost of transportation increase about 50% if we do nothing. And the only way to reduce the cost of logistics is collaboration. It's easy to say so. I give you an example. In Vietnam, there are no night deliveries, there are no co loading, there are no uh, empty return truck solutions. So the problem could be solved thanks to technology and here our solution. If we, we uh, break down the time to execute the, the servicing, we can figure out there are lots of ways at the moment, like waiting of return, like waste of uh, utilization, waste of the cube utilization ways of uh, manual handling, with counting, a lot of ways. And if we, we leverage technology, we save like, up to 30 to 50 percent cost. But very much with the report from the one before. For example, long haul truck in Vietnam. If they have a return truck with cargo, they may save up to 50 percent revenue and efficiency to the, the whole, not only the cheaper, the transportation, but also for the environmental, also for the life of people that's moving on the traffic. So, how we solve the problem? Here, uh, we start with building a software to have people to connect, monitor, to digitalize the truck operation. And then we use the matching platform to suggest which is the empty truck, which is cheaper truck with the cargo. That's the cheapest truck in the market and efficient for both staff. So, uh, I give you an example of how we do that. This is an example in real life we provide for our client, GSN. Now, they have to play the video, please. Like Decathlon, like Sabepo, or Jemadet. So, so far we have about 50 clients, more than 10,000 trucks, 
and uh, we are here today to call for the action of uh, collaboration. We want to bring our solution to regional, to help other country in, in region, in ASEAN region like uh, Indonesia, like Malaysia, like Thailand. Through technology, we can save, we can eliminate waste in that, we digitalize the, 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 the logistic operation and we bring value to, to the society to reduce the number of deaths on the road. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. So thanks for the presentation. Uh, I've seen the same kind of uh, approach taking uh, like the end of like not only Japan but also like all, yeah. all over the world. What, was, what is your um, strongest competitive advantage and how you really tackle the like maybe probably it's a really local yeah. um, uh, Market, but like, yeah. what, what is it? Uh, the matching platform of trucks, there are, I think, more than 50 in the world, like Mankang in China, like uh, Saludu in Germany, like Convoy in the US, or Cubic in the US. So, our advantage is we have more than the team has more than 50 years experience in logistic industry. So, we have common language with the people in big corporations like Procter and Gamble, like Unilever, like Vinamil, like Stabico. So when we bring the solution, we talk on the same, uh, the common language. And the, on the other hand, we have the, the software. We start with the software, then we, we can make the data into value through suggestion. We apply AI to, to auto suggest, to auto planning, all kind of that. So versus other uh, matching platform, we have two legs at the high. We have a different system and transport management system that have the digital life process easier, reliable, and fast. Yeah. Um, I have a question about the timing yep. of this business with the rise of driverless cars and driverless trucks. How do you think that change is gonna affect your business in the long term? Uh, the chain must be. Dr robot trucks, trucks that don't need drivers. Uh, how, do you, how do you think that's going to affect your business in the long term? Yeah, perfect. Uh, in the long run, uh, even with the vehicle-led uh, driver, uh, driver-led vehicle, then the, the opportunity is still there that we need to, to maximize that and return. So no matter what, with driver or with a driver, we still need to maximize that truck. So in that case, uh, our solution can help give more data, more advantage of planning and reduce the effort of, of human. It may be too early to talk about blockchain, too early to talk about AI, but we think about that already. Yeah. I think my question is, it's pretty much echoing already what's been asked. Um, and in terms of local knowledge, obviously logistics management, route optimization, and everything else is incredibly hot in Vietnam right now. And also out of um, Europe, Germany particularly, they're doing a lot of this. So it's, for me, I'm still looking for that real point of difference. So obviously the country that I've seen in Vietnam, I live in, where we've got a lot of press and media lately. We're doing a blockchain, AI-based route optimization, logistics planning setup. So it's a, what's your real point of differentiation and, and what's your niche market segment? I understand the trucking thing that's going to allow you to build a sustainable business model in a very competitive environment. Yeah. Uh, I do believe our differentiate not based on the only technology. Technology are good foundation where we are uh, easier to, to follow up with a trend like blockchain, like uh, AI, like LD and recently. But the key point is we are the first in the market to bring that value to our client. The beautiful thing is the logic market is green in terms of technology application. Just recently we see Amazon acquired Kiva just in 2008 and the modern warehouse like, like Amazon just very few in the world in just the last five years. So we are catch up with the trend and we are kind of the first mover that's our advantage to bring the solution to, to acquire client easier versus the other. All right, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.